I mentioned in my last video that Trump reminded me of the fictional character Elmer Gantry, the protagonist in Sinclair Lewis's novel Elmer Gantry that was published in 1926. In the novel, far more than in the movie released in 1960, Gantry is portrayed in the novel as hedonistic, immoral, a narcissist, and a hypocrite who pretends to embrace Christian values as he milks his flock as an evangelical preacher. Another protagonist in a Sinclair Lewis novel, Buzz Windrup, also has many similarities to Trump as well. Wintrip was the protagonist in the novel, quote, It Can't Happen Here, end of quote, published by Lewis in 1935. Yes, it can happen in the United States. Democracy is very fragile and a historical aberration in world history. Authoritarian movements in several Western democracies, including the U.S., are gaining more influence and power. In the Lewis novel, Wintrip is a United States senator who is running against FDR in the 1936 uh, election. He is running as a Democrat against FDR and beats him in the uh, primary and then beats the Republican in the uh, general election. Uh, he has a populist message and is clearly an authoritarian demagogue. Winthrop uh, secures the support of Christian evangelicals who are the main reason that he is able to beat FDR and the Republican. The, the evangelicals view him as someone who will return America and Americans to traditional values. Wintrip can constantly foments fear and patriotism. He loves big, passionate rallies and rails against the lies of the mid-mainstream media. His supporters embrace his message, lashing out at everyone who relies on facts or who simply points out the dangers of that Wintrip, an obvious demagogue and an authoritarian, poses to democracy in America. Winthrop was in part modeled on the Louisiana politician who was planning to run against FDR in 1936, but was assassinated in 1935. The other inspiration for Lewis was Adolf Hitler. In a prior video, I discussed how Senator Long was, in my opinion, the most effective and powerful authoritarian demagogue in the United States prior to Trump, who is now in first place with Long, George Wallace, and Joseph McCarthy being way behind Trump in both effectiveness as a demagogue and the maximum of power achieved by those earlier uh, uh, demagogues. Soon after the president, presidential election that Windrup won, he becomes an autocratic leader and has continues to have, notwithstanding his attacks on freedom and democracy, uh, widespread support among Americans. Uh, as president, he, uh, obsists on, he insists on absolute obedience, quote, louder, more convincing yeses from everybody about him, as, end of quote, is what he tells uh, his uh, staff. Lewis's uh, second wife, the journalist uh, Dorothy Thompson, probably provided much of the inspiration for the, this Lewis novel which was written by him in a few months. Uh, Thompson uh, interviewed Hitler in 1931, I think, and she referred to his, quote, startling insignificance in person when she met him in person. She also interviewed Huey Long, noting that Long's populist style reminded her of Hitler. Trump's first wife claimed that Trump uh, had the speeches of Adolf Hitler nearby in a cabinet uh, near his, in, the, in their bedroom. I would certainly believe that Trump would be far more likely to have read that 
book, maybe the only one he's read since graduating from college, rather than the Bible that he professes to uh, read uh, religiously.